Hi guys, happy hashtag motivation Monday. Hope everyone's week is off to a fantastic start. For those that are on the replay, thank you so much for joining. For those that are going to be popping on live, uh, when you do come on, just say hi, where you're coming in from. Would love to hear from you. Hi, Doug. And, and again, I entitled today, hi, Jody. I entitled today's live. This was a personal reality check for me. Hi, Jen. You know, why getting to get ready hurt me in my past and those lessons that propelled me to where I am now. And that's the, that's the honest to God truth. Uh, I, I had a, I had some major, major life changes in, you know, in my past that really got me to where I am now. What's up, Dave? And again, if you guys are just, Kale, what's up? Uh, if you guys are just jumping on, say hi and where you're coming in from. Feel free to share this content to bring some other people on here so we can all obviously get this knowledge together. What's up, Chris? Hi, Brenda. Uh, and again, if, uh, if you're on the replay, thank you so much for joining. Hi, Laurel. So, so here's, here's the situation. How many people that are on here right now, how many people have found yourself getting ready to get ready? What's up, Jabri? Hi, Mike. How many, by, why are yes in the chat box? If you have found yourself in that situation where you are getting ready to get ready. Hi, Kristen. Jabri says, what's up? So why are yes in the chat box? Have any of you on here or on the replay, and you can feel free to comment back later. Uh, Laurel says, I am still getting ready to get ready. Tina says, all the time. Good. So, and, and first thing, I need to acknowledge those. Andrea, hi. Jody said, in the past. So I want to acknowledge those that have openly admitted that they're getting ready to get ready. Trudy says, hi, Scott. Oh, yes, getting ready to get ready. Kristen says, yes. And, and for those that are jumping on, the question I just asked is, have you ever found yourself getting ready to get ready type Y or yes in the chat box? So for those that have admitted it, I honor you and I respect you for that because when you can turn the mirror around on yourself, what's up, Trav? Doug says, yes, I need to break this. The other Scott Aaron, what's up, brother? Brenda says, always. Oh, definitely, says Andrea. So the fact that you guys are acknowledging, what's up, Randy? The fact that you guys are acknowledging that you have or you are getting ready to get ready means you're on the brink of a breakthrough. And I know this for a fact. When when I was two years ago, two years ago, I was facing a decision that had to be made professionally. I had a gym that had a lot of debt attached to it, and no matter what I did. Uh, someone pushed me. Kristen, I, I can definitely assist. I was faced with a decision, and, and I, I romanced this decision for a long time. Hi, Tiffany Milan. What's up, brother? For a long time, I romanced this. And, and I, had, I had a decision that needed to be made. I could either continue going down the path that I was going down with my gym and just get by and have this monkey on my back, or I could do something about it. And here's the thing. Everyone is waiting for the perfect time. Everyone's waiting for, you know, when the money is there, when this has been cleared off my plate, when this is over. And I'm going to tell you guys straight up that if you are on here, whether on the live or on the replay, and you are waiting for the best time when the kids don't have so many parties or, you know, waiting for something else to stop before you start something else or I don't want to get overwhelmed with this, that, or the other. You are only going to hurt yourself because that's what happened to me. I literally romanced the idea of either selling or closing my gym for over two years. And again, I don't regret the decisions that I did or did not make. But I know, looking back, I could have made that decision a lot earlier because it could have saved me a lot of money, a lot of time, a lot of stress and anxiety. 
So the fact of the matter is, is that I had to do a reality check for myself. I was waking up not happy. I was waking up being stressed out about my gym. I was waking up and not being inspired to move forward. Hi, Betsy. What's up, Eric? And if you guys are just jumping on, I asked a question earlier. If you have ever found yourself getting ready to get ready, type Y or yes in the chat box if you have. So here's the thing. I talk to people all the time that say, you know, when I'm ready, I'll reach out. Or now's not the best time. Or I need to wait for this. I need to wait for that. This has to come off my plate. Here is the other truth. That is never going to happen because once something is taken off of your plate, something else will replace it. And here's the thing, because the fact of the matter is, if you have a clear vision of what you want and there is something that you are not happy with, and I'm going to give a couple examples. If you're not happy with how you physically look or feel, so that's on a personal side, on, on the personal side. On the professional side, if you're in network marketing, if you are an online business owner and you are not happy with where your business is, you're not talking to enough people, you know you need to do more, right? Those are two things. You need to do something about it. Waiting for the right time, waiting for the appropriate time, you're only going to hurt one person in the end, and that's yourself. Because all you're going to do is to create more to put on your plate, so you're digging that hole deeper and deeper and deeper. And before you know it, six months goes by, a year goes by, three years goes by, and you turn around and nothing has changed in your life. And as soon as I made that decision, and I had two options, I was trying to sell my gym, and I was literally giving it away, and I couldn't. I met with my business attorney, and I said, what are my options? He said, if you can't sell it, you gotta file for bankruptcy. So I said, so what's that gonna do to me? He goes, well, it's gonna bottom out your credit, but it's gonna give you a fresh start. And I didn't romance it any longer. I said, let's do it. I responded like that. And it's something that Mel Robbins talks about. It's called the five second rule. And I inherently did this. I was five, four, three, two, one, boom. I made, let's do it, let's file. And that's, and I was so confident in what I was doing because I knew the outcome of what I was gonna get back. The gym was gonna be off of my shoulders. The financial burdens were gonna be off of my shoulders. And then I was gonna finally be able to focus on me and growing my business which is what happened. And he said to me, he goes, Scott, listen, you know, it, it's, it's going to take a little bit of time for your credit to come back. So, you know, getting a, a car might be difficult. Getting a house might be difficult. Getting a credit card might, might be difficult. So one, I haven't had trouble getting a car. Two, I'm not buying a house anytime soon. And three, I don't need credit cards anymore. And my credit was bottomed out. And now I just checked the other day on Credit Karma. If you guys haven't downloaded the app, Nancy recommended it to me. It's great. My credit's almost back to 700 now, not even two years later. So, guys, if you're sitting around waiting to achieve your physical or financial goals, you know, I'll reach out to that person when I'm ready. I talk to people all the time. And, you know, people tell me that all the time. I'm going to reach out to you when I'm ready. You know, uh, you know, check back with me, you know, in a month. You know, give me some more time. We don't have that much time. You don't know when something might happen tomorrow or later on today. But here's what I do know. If you know in your heart, if you know in your heart right now, you are not happy with something. And you know that you want something to change. You know that you deserve more. You know what is possible. Then you have to go all in for yourself. And it's not about asking anyone else for approval. Husband, wife, spouse, friend, family. 
you have to ask yourself if you know what you want then you have to go and get it if that all makes sense please type y or yes in the chat box what's up alan so glad you guys can join because here's the thing guys we all have the same potential we all have the same 24 hours in the day we all have the same skills but here's the thing for you to learn the skills you have to learn them from someone and it, you can't I, I can't i can't express to you guys enough how important it is to honor yourselves be truthful to yourselves yes yes and you guys you guys deserve it you guys deserve the best you know one of the best one of the best investments i ever made was hiring my first business coach at a time where i didn't have the money i paid three thousand dollars for a business coach when i did not have the money i had to call my bank i had to physically call my bank and ask for a five hundred dollar extension on my account because i was exceeding the daily limit for the amount i was to take out but I knew that investment wasn't so much in the coach. That investment was in me. I was investing in myself because I knew I wanted more and I knew I was going to get more. So if you thought about investing in yourself, not investing in a coach, not investing in a program, you're really investing in you to change your life physically or financially. You deserve to make that investment. And I use, I use something called the flat tire effect. And, and here's what I mean. If you were driving to work today, okay, and you got a flat tire, make that two flat tires. You only have a spare in the trunk, that's it. You got to call AAA, you call your car company, they tow you, and you have to find a way to get the money to get those two new tires so you can continue to go to work so you can earn a living for yourself and your family. And Jody says, yes, same situation with my coach. She found a way. Exactly. If, if you want it bad enough, don't say, don't, don't lie to your, and this is a great point, Jody, don't lie to yourselves. Don't tell that person what you want to hear. Don't tell them when I'm ready, I'm going to reach out. Because if you're not happy with something, in, like I, I was talking to someone the other day and they told me that they were going to wait until they ran out of a list that they had before they started doing something else. And I said to myself, why would you ever want to, why would you ever want to run out? I want to add on. I don't want to run out of something. I want to continue to pile it on. I want to have more people to talk to than I know what to do with. I want the law of numbers in my favor. Melissa says yes. So again, you owe it to yourself. No one else. If you can find a way, you know, if you had those two flat tires, I guarantee everybody on here would be able to find a way, whether they had to borrow the money, put it on a credit card, they would find a way to get that money to fix those two flat tires. Because if I use this analogy because if something is going wrong with you personally or professionally, you don't feel good, you're not sleeping well, your business isn't growing, you're running out of people to talk to, you're not seeing any growth, your business or yourself has a flat tire and you deserve to fix it. Waiting does nothing. So if you see someone else succeeding, if you have spoken to someone that knows what they're talking about, you deserve to work with them. Because it's not working with them. It's hiring that person to invest back in you to bring you exactly what you deserve. Guys, thank you so much for checking this out. Again, share the content. If anyone would like a free 15-minute coaching session, please reach out to me. I'm happy to talk to you. Love you all so much. Grateful for each and every one of you. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.